I'm Rajesh Shaya, and I've created a free tool for Unity called Easy Object Modifier, and the link to download this tool is provided in the description below. Using this tool, you can easily search for objects by the tags or names from the scene view or even through the assets folder. You can also select a bunch of objects from the scene view to be simply replaced all at once by any prefab from the assets folder. A useful feature when your scene has hundreds of objects that needs to be replaced in a painless manner. Lastly, you can also group selected objects based on the tags and make simple patch modifications to them. So in this video, I'll show you all of these functionalities of this tool in action. The tool package after getting downloaded and imported to your project unpacks itself inside a new folder called Easy Object Modifier inside the main editor folder. So Easy Object Modifier is a tool that's run by these two simple C# -sharp scripts. There are also some readme, there are also a readme and a script reference PDF included if you want to go through them. All right. So to help me demonstrate this tool, I have gone ahead and created myself a simple prefab, named it Sample, and attached some basic 3D object prefabs as children to it. Every object here is appropriately tagged. So a box is tagged box, capsule for a capsule, and cylinder for a cylinder, and so on. And even the parent sample has a tag of test. To open the tool, go to the game object menu and look for Easy Object Modifier below Break Prefab Instance menu item. Alternatively, it can also be invoked by Control e or Command e if you're on a Mac. So this tool has five sections, the search bar at the top, the simple replace section below it, a group of four buttons with different functionalities, a box that displays messages, for example if I select main camera it says one object selected and so on, and a huge empty area below that gets populated with groups of items in a neat list-like fashion. We'll see that soon. So I'll start by searching the scene view for any object that might have the tag box. But before I start the search, I just wish to drag a box into the scene view right down in the middle somewhere. And now let's start off with the search. I bring up the tool again. Now with all of these settings intact on the search bar, I'll collapse the final drop down, select box, and I'll hit search. Okay. Now it'll ask me whether I wish to search through the child objects. I'll say yes, go ahead. And it's found me five objects, so four inside the sample prefab and one outside, which is a standalone prefab. Okay, now let me show you what happens if I say no to that dialog. So I select box again and I set I say search and don't wish to search to the child objects and it's found me exactly just one item which is outside sample because it won't find these four boxes because it's inside these are children of sample great alright so that was about scene search let's now run a search through the folders in the project panel I'll hit the reset button clear selection I'll select project and now we are being asked to select the folder to search from so click select folders and you see a button up here. If I select anything from the assets folder from the project panel here, the button changes label. If you just keep an eye on this button, I select prefabs from the project panel and now it's changed from select folders to add one item. Okay, so I don't want to select through editor, I don't want to select through materials either. I'll keep it as prefabs and it's asking me to add one item. I'll say yes, add one item to search from and here it's showing me the selected folders prefabs. Okay, and we'll select the same box and we'll run a search again and it's asking me whether I wish to search through the child objects I'll say yes and it's found me five boxes it's found me five objects with a tag box now if I search again and I say no then it's just gonna be just gonna find me one box which is outside the sample so that was about all about the search function great so let's move on to the simple replay section this particular option now. Next up, we have the simple replay section. It's pretty darn simple really. Select game objects from the scene view and replace them with any prefab from the assets folder. Let me show you how. Say we wish to replace these four boxes. Actually, let me first delete this box here. Yeah. So let's say we wish to replace these four red boxes with cylinders. Okay, so with these four boxes selected, 
and as you can see in the message box it reads four objects selected let's drag a cylinder from the assets folder and drop it here now hit replace boom four objects from the hierarchy were successfully replaced hit ok move the window away to check the scene view the four boxes have indeed been replaced by four cylinders of course if you feel that this operation was a mistake you can always undo it by going to edit undo replaced object or simply hit control Z or command Z on a Mac to undo the replace operation so I'll just say undo replaced objects and the boxes are back so that was about simple replace simple indeed <laughs> So the last thing that remains to be shown is the function that enables you to group objects based on the tags for making batch modifications. And the group objects button here performs that function. So only objects that are selected can be grouped. Objects in the scene view can be directly selected and grouped, while only the objects in the assets folder that are selected as search results can be grouped. So let me show you what I mean. I'll, I'll, I'll take the scene view first. So the group objects, the group objects button is grayed out right now as you can see. However, if I select even one object from the hierarchy, it gets activated. Alright, so I'll clear the selection and I'll select the sample object and hit the group objects button. Of course, it's asking me whether I want to group the untagged items. I'll say yes, go ahead. The second dialog is familiar to us by now. Yes, we want to group the child objects as well. And there you go. The sample object has been grouped along with its children based on their different tags and they're appropriately labeled as well. And now you can now do a bunch of things with these grouped objects. Okay. For starters, you could replace them with any prefab. You could replace any of these groups of objects with any prefab from the assets folder down here. And also below every group is a fold out which when collapsed exposes some toggle buttons and a drop down list of all the tags in the project. Now the toggle buttons are enabled only when a replacement object is provided for that group. So if I drag and drop any replacement object here in any of these fields these toggle buttons will be activated. And you can also highlight uh, the group the objects of the group in the hierarchy so if I say highlight in hierarchy it's, it's gonna show me it's gonna show me all the objects that have been grouped in the hierarchy it's gonna select all those objects so I say highlight in hierarchy for the box so it's gonna select all the boxes and the capsules the cylinders and spheres and so on it also has a remove button so you know you could also remove a group if you feel that it got sneaked in by mistake so I'll remove all the groups except for the box I'll just let the box remain there I'll take off capsule, I'll take off cylinder and I'll take off sphere as well. So we have removed all the groups except these four items with the tag box. Once again we'll replace these four boxes with cylinders and while we are at it we shall also change a few more settings this time. Clear selection here and I'll first drag a cylinder and drop it in this field. Okay and now if I collapse this fold out the toggle buttons come alive. So I can either keep or change the object transforms. Now please note that unchecking it means that I can supply position, rotation and scale as offset values and not absolute values. Now these values are relative to the replacement prefab in this field up here. Or I can also reset them which is the same as clicking this cogwheel icon and hitting the reset. Or I can be really cruel and destroy its relationship with its parent by unchecking this maintain hierarchy toggle button and doing so will throw all the four boxes from this group out of the hierarchy after getting replaced by the cylinders and of course you can change the tag of all the objects for that group from here let's try all that out I'll first uncheck the keep object transforms uh, and now let's take a look at the transform values of the cylinder prefab and the all zero okay now let's give it an offset position of 10 in the x direction and give it a rotation of 30 along the x axis and change the tag box to something like sample 
And finally, let's destroy this relationship by unchecking this. Now let's click on make changes and let's first select them all and all right all of these boxes are selected let's click on make changes yes four objects from the hierarchy were successfully modified and as you can see from the notification here and if you look at it yes they have been modified with all the rotations as well of course since we have given it an offset we overrode the transforms and we gave it all all of those cylinders an offset value of 10 and a rotation of 30 so they all in the same position with the same rotation value the tags for all of these cylinders have been changed to sample from box after they got replaced and also they've been thrown out of the sample hierarchy all right that's about it hope you found this tool helpful the link to download this tool is given in the description below thank you for watching and have a great day